Is this as confident as the team's been since since last season, perhaps? Uh, yes, I think, in a word. Um, uh, obviously, it's been a difficult season. Um, it's been a season of, uh, you know, fits and starts in terms of being a lot of injuries in the, the team, a lot of change in the team. And obviously, in January, it was a big turnaround in the squad in terms of a lot of players coming in, which there needed to be because of the amount of injuries that we did have. So, it's uh, you know it's been a bit difficult, but I think it's coincided the last few weeks with a bit more consistency in the team selection, and you know a lot of guys coming back from from long term injuries. I think probably only really Stevie Hamill, who's still out, who's hopefully still going to be you know going to be available for a part of the, the end of the season, which would be a real massive boost to us again. But I think all the factors of, of getting people back and I said that consistency and, and ultimately getting that one result or performance that we got you know three four weeks ago I think against Inverness it, it was uh, you know the performance more than anything that you look about and you think you know yeah we have still got some good players here and it's a bit of belief and you know that's massive in football and, and you just take that on and we've managed to get a little bit of momentum so you feel as if you've got one weight off your shoulders in the sense automatic relegation should be out of the equation and you now just have to try and avoid the playoffs. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but I mean, it's never over. I mean, I'm certainly obviously in a difficult position now. Um, but you know, you never say never. As I said, they're probably they're, I think they're searching for that result performance that we were four or five weeks ago. That's one thing that can get you know that that one result. As I said, that can maybe turn things around for them, and then they can go on a run, as shown with Ross County as well. I think they beat us, and then you know that kick started their uh, you know recent uh, revival and great run of form. So. You know, I'm sure Sitman are still looking for that. Yes, it's going to be difficult for them. But as we've said over the last few weeks, we, you know, we want to try and focus above us as well and try and get into that pack above us. And if we can't come to the last five games, if we can be as close to that pack above us as we can, then you know, great for us. Now that we're in the business end of the season, would escaping relegation, where would that rank amongst all the other achievements you've had in the last couple of seasons? Um, it's hard, really. You know, obviously we've had so much, you know, success at this club in terms of European qualification and. You know, cup final and semi finals and and uh, and things like that. And uh, but I think if we did get to the end of the season and, and got ourselves at this position, there would be a real sense of um, you know pride in it. I suppose you know it's hard to say. That. I mean, maybe you could go and finish tenth, and you think that's oh, a terrible season. But I think given the position we were in and and how hopefully we're going to get out of it, then I think you've, there's still going to be a lot of positives uh, positives to take out of that because football's not. Safe. I mean, you can we we we've, we even when we were. Um, you know, achieving great things on the part in terms of consistency levels in the league position. We said all along that it's you know it's not a given. We only got that because we worked so hard and as a group, and you know we were lucky with injuries at times. And and uh, you know it's it's uh, all the other teams are trying to do the same issue, and we've just found this year we've not been quite at the same level, and, and other teams have. And it's in this league you'll get you know you're you're going to lose more games than you win if you're if you're not quite at it. Or, uh, or, or, or whatever. So no, it's it's uh, you know we don't take anything for granted at this club. We just want to try and get ourselves out of it. If we do, then great. And I'm sure you know we can sit down at the end of the season and think, no, it wasn't a great season, but you know we certainly got ourselves out of a tricky situation there. There's been, there's been a lot of big games recently, but tomorrow was the chance to drag Patrick Thistle into the, the playoff fight. Yeah. How crucial does that make? In the yeah, ma massive. I mean, I think it was going to be a big week for us after the international week. We looked at this and seen Kamarnock. Um, St Mirren and Partick all teams that we are you know St Mirren obviously just below us Kilmarnock and Thistle in that group above us and um, you know you always you know it's going to be a pivotal week before the last five fixtures go out and as you said before we felt as if we could get certainly in touch with that group above us it would give us a real good fighting chance come the last five games you know we've had a good start for the week six points so far um, you know and we know what rests in this game on Saturday um, you know the teams above us have maybe not been thinking they've been in a fight uh, but we want to try and turn it into one if you like um, come come the last five games uh, if we win on Saturday then you know we'll do that but you know we, we know it's not going to be an easy an easy an easy thing to do Thistle are a good team they've turned us over already this season so you know it's uh, well in Archibald they'll be I'll be focusing on this from their point of view. If they can beat us, uh, you know, and then um, they'll maybe think that's going to give them a, you know, push them a long way to, to safety as well. So it's going to be two teams going at it, and it's you know, we just going to give them the confidence and belief in themselves that we can go in there win. So it's up to us to try and show that. And a win for you takes you level on points with. Ross County, point behind yeah, until they win again <laughs> on Monday. Uh, no, it does. Like, Ross County are just an un unbelievable 
Uh, I think I might put a fiver on it to win the league next year if they stay up, you know. So they're in that was uh, such good form. But look, it's uh, it's uh, you know that's what happens. You, the, the, as I said, they've found that result, that performance that kickstarted their season. It, unfortunately, it was against us, and they've just went from strength to strength. So yeah, we've just got to look after ourselves, and then uh, you know they, they go to St Mirren on uh, and Monday and see what happens. But we've got to take care of our own business on, on Saturday, first and foremost, and then. You know, as unfortunately getting to that stage of the season, you are looking at the results round about you as well. Was there a time or a game or a place where you thought it wasn't going to turn for you? Um, there's been a few of them this season, to be honest. <laughs> I had a few too many, but no, it's. Well, I think up until the Inverness game at home, uh, I think that, you know the, the recent additions, obviously of Sweet Scotty and 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 Piero as well, uh, have been a, a big boost to us, along with the, the, the lads that came in January taking them a little bit of time to settle in. I think up until that point, up until probably February, March, and before the Inverness game, you know, you are looking about and thinking, right, where's this result going to come from? Where's this performance going to come from? Um, but, as I said, since that since that game, really, I think there's there's been, a, I keep going back to that belief, but it's massive in football. You know, if you're looking about your dressing room, you can see, right, he's going to, He's going to do something for us today. I can see him. He's going to score a goal for us. He's going to keep them out. He's, you know, that belief in each other as a group. Um, sometimes when that goes a little bit, then you know you find it hard. You find it hard to, to get that result that you need and that performance that you need. But now, last few weeks, you know that's starting to come back now, and that confidence is starting to come back. And if you've got that, then you know you've got a good chance in football. So as I said, we seem to have that a little bit of that back, and, and we just want to try and carry that into these last six games now. How important is it for you not to have relegation on your CV? Because a player who spend a long time in Scotland, yeah, by definition, can do. Yeah. No, it's it's. Oh, don't think anybody wants to be involved in it. To be honest with you, it's obviously it's not a very nice thing. Um, you know, involved in a season here where you know we we never went down, but we did finish bottom of the league, which was, wasn't nice. Um, but it's it's you know it's it's not something anyone wants to to go through, especially for myself, who's you know I've been at the club for a long time now, and you know it's it's not just the players that affects it's the whole club and the whole staff at the club and and the, what the ramifications may be and, and and the supporters and the whole community really you know so it's it's not just a case of a squad of 11 players or a squad of 20 players that are affected it's it's everybody at the at the football club so we know what it means we know what it means but we we've uh, we've um, I think shown in the last few weeks that we know what it means and we know that we have to show and give everything to, to try and get ourselves out of this situation and, and that's what we'll be doing you know, more as, as the pressure ramps up from now to the end of the season. Just on a personal note, what difference has it made to you having Stephen Pearson alongside you? We talk about you know guys like Scott McDonald bringing out the best in Lee Erdman. Yeah. What's it been like for you personally? Do you feel as if you've improved having Stephen alongside you? Yeah, I think... I yeah, I think so. Even at the grand old age, I'm. I think you're always looking to improve. To be honest, whatever you're doing, and is, I think most good teams are built on partnerships all over the park. You know, your strikers, midfielders, or maybe your fullback, your wide man, your centre halves, and I think we've, we've over the last few weeks we've found a balance all over the park really that's helped us. And um, you know, with Stephen coming in. And Scott, as you mentioned, guys with great experience, and and not only with their own performances, but you say more more often than not, it's actually what they bring out the people round about them. That could be by demanding it, by verbally, you know, demanding things off each other because they're used to winning and they're used to being at, 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 at um, big big clubs and playing in the big stage. And that can be, you know, all of a sudden the, the, the lads round about sit up and take notice. Allied with the fact that they've performed very well since they came in, then, you know, it's obviously had a positive impact, uh, impact on the team. So it's, it's it's been great, but, you know, we all know ourselves it's... it's um, it's not just down to two, it's going to be 11, 12, 13, 14 players, however many we're going to use more uh, from now to the end of the season, it's going to get us out of this position. But the guys that have come in have been, uh, you know, have been a real catalyst for us and hopefully that will continue.